Bitdefender is a well-known security tool that promises many perks. Well, I tested it out, and do I think it lives up to the hype? Well, yeah, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. But before I do, welcome back everyone, I'm Mike, and yes, today I am giving my full rundown of Bitdefender Total Security. Now you may ask, why a Bitdefender Total Security tutorial and review? Well, this plan is really popular, and the only plan catering to Mac, iOS, Windows, and Android users alike. So, after we interviewed some people, I was truly shocked that experiencing malware firsthand still wasn't enough to push some of you into installing an antivirus program. Uh, I have not tried any antivirus softwares, uh, but I really should. Uh, because when I was a kid, I got a hack on my computer. Not great. A little more cautious nowadays. But uh, I still, like I said, I have to do resources for like sampling and stuff like that. And it, uh, it gets a little sketchy. Yeah, so let's continue educating ourselves and jump into our Bitdefender review and Bitdefender tutorial for 2022. Now, as some of you may already know, Bitdefender is an antivirus with a great reputation. It has the best malware detection and removal in the game. And not only has Bitdefender won a global award for its antivirus prowess, but AV tests also showed Bitdefender blocked 100% of malware and virus threats during their 2021 testing. Now, that's pretty cool. Even Bitdefender's base rate plan does not skimp on features. There's a VPN firewall, file shredder, secure browsing, and a money-back guarantee. All the good stuff. But Bitdefender Total Security takes it up a notch with some extra features, like webcam and microphone protection, and an awesome anti-theft tool. Bitdefender Total Security is their top-of-the-line package. I mean, it packs so much in. It's probably why it just costs under $40 for the first year and then under $90 per year after that. No, it isn't cheap, but it is a lot cheaper than my annual Netflix budget, just saying. One big downside I do need to point out here though is that Bitdefender's free plan has been discontinued. So that's a bummer to your face. Given the lack of a free plan, any discounts on Bitdefender Total Security are a great find and I might just have a Bitdefender deal or two for you down in the description below. Whenever I have discounts or deals, I always share them and even update them frequently, so be sure to check those out when you need them. Okay, having a streamlined experience is a huge consideration when choosing your antivirus software. Also, we interviewed people in the streets of LA and not having enough know-how seemed to be a recurring reason for people not protecting their devices. When I was younger, my dad tried a lot of antivirus softwares on my computers, but I'm not very tech savvy, so it always seemed way complicated for me to do myself, and I don't even know how I would begin to do that on my phone, so. That's why I'm bringing a Bitdefender Total Security tutorial for 2022, so I can show all of you just how it handles. All right, from the top, I was expecting the installation process to be a little bit tricky because Bitdefender Total Security has so many dang features, but I was wrong. The installation process is straightforward and takes no time at all, well under like 10 minutes. After setting Bitdefender Total Security up on my Mac, I found some cool little additions. I got safe files, ad blocker, anti-phishing, malware detection, anti-tracker, VPN, and even time machine protection. Total Security is true to its name for backing up and protecting files from encryption and theft. Then after trying out the Windows version, I'd argue this Bitdefender edition is one of the best antivirus for Windows users. There's real-time data protection, vulnerability assessments, web attack prevention, anti-fraud, anti-spam, and lots more. One way I would describe Bitdefender is comprehensive. It's quite a bundle. So whether you suspect a virus is on your device? I have. I have had viruses on my device before. I have. I have had a virus on my device when I was younger, and I learned my lesson then. And I do get suspected viruses all the time. Or you're just trying to prevent one. It's a solid choice. Basically, if you want all the best features, then Bitdefender Total Security is the one to get. It might be the pricier option, but it has a long list of perks, and you get to cover five devices on that one plan, which is more than enough for me. All right, so far it looks like Bitdefender Total Security is awesome for Mac and Windows, but when I used it on iOS, well, I discovered some other stuff. 
You get basics like web protection and a scanner to protect your phone, but they're basically the only options, so that kind of feels a little lacking to me. Something to keep in mind for you iOS folks. A lot of people are skeptical about installing antivirus softwares because of their past experiences and some of the unpredicted effects that it might have on a PC. I feel like the time that I downloaded it, it sort of crashed my hard drive in a sense that I remember not being able to use my, my most common browser as effectively as I had before, whether it was moving slower or it wasn't, in, it wasn't opening browsers correctly. Um, I just know, I remember just being incredibly frustrated after having downloaded it. It's a fair assumption. So I ran my own performance scans to test not only Bitdefender's performance, but malware catching abilities as well. I uploaded 10 malicious files onto my PC and ran a full scan. In terms of performance, it did take a little while, 45 minutes, which is similar to providers like Norton, but it's longer than a vast or total AV. But what I really appreciated here were the Bitdefender malware test results. 10 out of 10 malicious files were detected, so that's really stellar. I know I say the installation was easy, but Bitdefender's total security is super simple to navigate as well. Look, look at the dashboard here. The size, layout, and menus are clear. I feel like they've really made this user friendly for everyone, even if you're not super used to navigating these types of applications. So for this tutorial, I just click my devices on the dashboard and then simply add my other devices to the plan. This Bitdefender shield in the top left corner shows us the health of our security status. There, see mine's green currently, though it can turn red if something goes amiss. If I click protection, I can run a full system scan, a quick scan, or a customized scan. Should you need any assistance, you have this help section on your dashboard, but customer support is also on hand. If you look at the privacy tab, you can see how easy it is to tailor your settings to how you like them. I set my anti-tracker up to make sure it's integrating with Google Chrome here. I can also set up my video and audio protection settings here. All right, so my Bitdefender review summary. Well, Bitdefender antivirus is awesome with maybe some of the best antivirus features I've come across. Really, a 10 out of 10 for that streamlined user interface. Big fan. Bitdefender's total security for 2022 is a winner for me. And if it's looking like something you need, well, then don't miss out on the Bitdefender deal I have right down below. Its malware detection and removal is second to none. And if you're using Windows or Mac, then Bitdefender was built with your needs in mind. If you're using iOS only, you might find Bitdefender antivirus a little basic. The free version is sadly being discontinued, but the Bitdefender Total Security Edition is at a very fair price given its quality and range of security tools. Okay, now hold on. You know the whole way through my Bitdefender experience, I was actually asking myself, is this really worth the price? I mean, am I getting the most for my dollar? Honestly, I can say it is. I actually feel like maybe I'm taking advantage of them with all the features they're offering and the level of protection and everything else. But what are your thoughts on Bitdefender? I want to hear your Bitdefender antivirus review. We love hearing from you guys. And while you're there, do not forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. All right, until the next one, I'll see you soon for the next round of Cyber News.